It has been said that maple syrup is among the oldest natural food products produced in North America. Folklore credits the Native Americans with the discovery of this flavorful natural sweetener. The Native Americans had been tapping trees and making maple sugar for centuries before the first settlers arrived on the North American continent. But with new technologies that they brought over from Europe, they were able to transform what had been a subsistence form of agriculture, just providing enough sugar for their own use, to now a commercial enterprise. Early on, maple syrup was produced on small family farms. Today, advancements in technology have allowed the production of maple syrup to evolve from small family farms to large commercial operations. With the advent of vacuum tubing and reverse osmosis in the 1970s and 80s, that allowed for the collection of much more sap out of the woods and processing that sap into syrup in a much more timely, economically efficient, and environmentally friendly manner. We don't get maple syrup by simply drilling a hole in a tree. What we do is collect the sap from the maple tree, which is composed of 98% water. That's a lot of water that needs to be removed. Over the last 20 years, the larger commercial installations have introduced a reverse osmosis machine. There's a membrane in the machine that separates the water from the sugar that we need to make the maple syrup. This reduces the ratio from 40 to 1 to 4 to 1. LaPierre Equipment, located in Quebec, Canada, is a leader in the maple production industry, supplying the most efficient and innovative products to its customers based on the highest level of standards. M. LaPierre started in the years 1972 to 1976 to help his father and friends work with a new tubing installation. He started by building his equipment in his backyard shed. In 1978, he decided to create his own company, LaPierre Equipment Incorporated. In 1980, he built a plant in St. Lugé, Quebec, which is still the main plant today, equipped with its updated machinery. I can say that we are continuing to advance in the future, and we have presently over 200 people that work for us. We are a great team, and we are proud to consider the company as a family company. This year, we have celebrated our 35th anniversary, and it was a great event. Another type of equipment that shows the innovation side of Donald is the maple sap reverse osmosis. We are always ahead of the industry, meaning that the technology was invented and patented by Donald. This method has been improved during the years, but has stayed basically the same while upgrading as new technology was available. Another type of equipment that shows the innovation side of Donald is the maple sap reverse osmosis. We are always ahead of the industry, meaning that the technology was invented and patented by Donald. This method has been improved during the years, but has stayed basically the same while upgrading as new technology was available. It is important for producers to understand that in order to increase the productivity of maple syrup, they must do so through means of high efficiency equipment. New studies have shown uh, that when we use vacuum in maple operations, uh, there is a direct relationship with the vacuum intensity applied to the tree with the gathering systems uh, and yields that you can expect to get. LaPierre Equipment manufactures Bernard and LaPierre sap extractors, ROs, sap and syrup filters, wood and oil-fired evaporators, fabricate stainless steel tanks, as well as a multitude of other products. A sap extractor, either a Bernard or a LaPierre, is a piece of equipment that is made to take the sap from the lines coming from the tree, that is those lines being under vacuum, and your tanks are not under vacuum, so you need uh, that equipment in order to release the vacuum so that the sap would go by gravity down into a tank. If it's electric, it would you would use a pump to take the to pump the sap out of the extractor. At Lapierre, we specialize in manufacturing reverse osmosis machine dedicated for the maple syrup industry. Uh, reverse osmosis machine like that is very important for uh, the maple syrup producer because it reduces uh, uh, the amount of water that you need to evaporate in order to make raw sap into syrup. Raw sap being at two and a half bricks. Um, bricks is the total soluble solids in a liquid solution. You can use a reverse osmosis machine to bring 
uh, the sugar content up to 16, 18, sometimes over 20 bricks, reducing by over 85 to 90 percent the amount of water you need to evaporate to turn sap into syrup. The sap filter is a, an underestimated uh, piece of equipment that is used to filter the raw sap before you would want to process it into your uh, reverse osmosis machine. It is very important to properly filter your maple syrup. You want to take the big particles and any impurities out of there for it to be crystal clear for the consumer to enjoy. So as for a maple sap evaporator, you have uh, different types of fuel that are available. You have uh, oil fired, uh, pellets fired, wood fired, um, high efficiency wood fired evaporators. Uh, the major difference is the actual cost of the fuel. Uh, oil would be more expensive than uh, pellets that would be more expensive than wood. So, and another big difference would be the convenience of use uh, of those evaporator. Uh, an oil evaporator, you just flip the switch and there you go, it's lit and it, it boils. Uh, compared to a wood fired evaporator that you need to light up and reload now, uh, now and then. So uh, it's a bit more work, but it's so much cheaper. At Lapierre, we are very proud of our stainless, welded stainless steel tank. Uh, the way that the flat bottom is made with uh, three radius, uh, you need uh, to have a tank that cleans properly to store your sap and your concentrated sap so that once the day is done, you can clean it thoroughly and start anew the next day. Donald Lapierre has set up the largest sugar bush in the world in Milan, Quebec. With more than 140,000 taps, this facility is used as a research and development center for Lapierre equipment. But for the for the development of sugar houses or sugar house equipment, I started at my father's sugar house in the 1970s because my father installed tubing in 1969-1970 and it was something new. After that, for development purposes, I bought a sugar house in 1976-1977 in the St. Jadion Beauce area. This sugar house was used to continue to develop various types of equipment, perform tests or trials of equipment that we build to improve the profitability and operations of a sugar house. In 1985-1986, I bought a large sugar house in Milan equipped with products that we had developed at Lapierre Equipment and Waterloo Small starting in 2001. I started, or should I say continued, the development of evaporators in Waterloo Small, which is now Lapierre Waterloo Small and in the United States, as LaPierre USA. With over 20 years of experience in maple sap ROs and many thousands of units sold, LaPierre Equipment now specializes in water treatment systems for production of drinking water and other industrial food applications. In the maple sap treatment, we have advanced significantly and had enough knowledge so as to transfer this to the treatment of water. We have now systems in operation since seven to eight years and more recent ones. I can say that the water treatment side is going very well. While maple syrup production may derive from the past, Lapierre Equipment aims for the future by constantly developing new products, which are perfectly adapted to the needs of their customers. For more information, visit www.elapierre.com.